Hi again then guys and welcome to another installment of Heavy Hitters on Forza Horizon 3 in particular and this pick is one of the oldest trucks or SUVs in the game, the Willys Jeep, of course one of the best known off-roaders ever made, spawned the Land Rover here in the UK, it was heavily used by the military, that's what it's of course most famous for, and it kind of jump-started Jeep into what would become a legacy of a brand. But, as we know, not all cars can rest on their laurels on racing games. Some actually have to bring the heat to modern cars as well to still prove that they've still got it as far as performance goes. Now, of course, this is not a performance car. It never was. So that puts it in a unique predicament. It's very old, and it's an off-roader. So there's a 50-50 chance that it could turn out to be amazingly good, or just kind of a collector's piece without much use. So which one is it? Well, as you can see in this video, it's not exactly quick in its standard form. Thankfully, though, it's not expensive either. This car only costs 26,000 credits, which is even cheaper than the CJ5, which is kind of the spiritual successor to this car. That's pretty impressive to be only 26 grand for such a highly collectible piece. But it's when you tune this car that it really becomes good. Because one of the best advantages that the Willys Jeep has is how light it is. This thing weighs 969 kilos. That's typically the kind of weight that you'd expect from a very small hot hatch or even a sports car like a Lotus or a Vauxhall VX220. That's very impressive. So as far as breaking down scores, how does it in comparison to the other trucks, buggies, SUVs, vans even, compare? Well, first of all, we have, of course, handling. And for the handling, perhaps controversially, but probably not really, I'm going to give this car a full five. It's small, it's light, it's easy to drive, and it is super beginner friendly. When you tune it up, the handling could very easily become bad with over a thousand horsepower, but it's not. It's still extremely nimble, pretty light as well, and can get around corners much more quickly than something like a massive GMC Vandura or a Hummer, for instance. It's not necessarily going to always beat those cars, but it definitely has the potential to. As far as acceleration goes, I'm going to give it a 4, because even though in stock form it's not very quick at all, as you can see in this video, even the Teradyne Gurkha can outrun it, and that's saying something when it's that slow. But when tuned, this is one of those cars that is so responsive, it becomes quick very easily. You barely have to do anything to the car as far as power to give it great launch and really good acceleration in the lower classes. After all, it starts out as a D-class vehicle, so you've got a huge amount of range to be working with, all the way up to S1. As far as top-end speed goes, I'm going to give it a 3, because it's not quite as strong in that regard as the acceleration. The acceleration is fantastic. The top-end speed certainly isn't bad. It can do around 220 miles per hour in fully tuned form, which is very good, and it certainly looks strange to see this car going that quickly, but that's in fully tuned form right up in the S1 class. In the lower classes, which is where you'd be better off using something like this, it's not necessarily quite as dominating, certainly not against something like a Cadillac Escalade or various others. As far as value for money goes though, it's an easy five. It's fantastic value. It's got such a great overall package for just 26 grand. It's light, it's small, it's already great through corners. You can make it immensely quick in a straight line. It's got basically everything you could realistically want from an off-roader. And as far as its usability goes, which of course directly leads on from that, again, I'm giving it a full five because it's just got such a huge range of skills and abilities. It's super low in class terms, but it can go super high. It's cheap, it's beginner friendly, it's a great drifter, it's super light, has fantastic acceleration, is surprisingly good on the road, and is even great off-road as well. So it's easily a 5 for this car, and overall that means that I'm giving the Willys Jeep a pretty high score of 88. But that's it for this pick overall, I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.